Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen and today we have a very fun uh, problem uh, on this co combination. Huh. So we will be tackling this time uh, in JavaScript. So let's jump to our task. So uh, this is a medium level problem and we are given an array of distinct integer and a target integer. And our task is to find all unique combination of this integer uh, that uh, sum up to the target. So uh, the exciting part is that the same number can be used multiple times in different combination. So for example, uh, if we have a target uh, of seven, so we can achieve seven by just uh, outputting uh, seven for uh, our array uh, of two, three, uh, six, seven, or we can make a combination. So two plus two plus three is also seven. So uh, first, uh, how we can uh, tackle this? So first, let's create our function. So we have a combination sum function that uh, takes the list of candidates and the target value as arguments. So we need to return results which will uh, contain all unique combinations. So let's uh, think how we can do this. So uh, we will create a helper function named uh, DFS to implement uh, our depth for search algorithm. And this will take four parameter, num, target, path, and results. So uh, yeah, in DFS function, we will check if the target is less than zero. So if so, we return immediately uh, as, as we uh, surpassed our uh, target value. And uh, next, if the target is equal to zero, uh, so uh, it means we have found a valid combination. Uh, so we push the path uh, into the result array and uh, return it. So after these two base cases, we will perform a loop over our uh, num array recursively calling uh, our DFS function. So uh, let's implement it. So first, let result be array candidate target result and return result. Yeah. Okay. So uh, DFS candidate target uh, results, and now we need to implement our helper function. So let's do this. So it will be just function DFS uh, num target path result. If target less than zero, we are backtracking. So return. And if target is zero, we have some results. So result push path and return. And for i zero less than num length increment and we call DFS slice target minus num i, so current number, and path num i result. And yeah, so we have num target path and result all good. So yeah, we can uh, run our implementation to see if it's working for this base test case. So yeah, uh, we have combination two, two, three and seven, both uh, giving a target number of seven. So all working uh, perfect. Uh, and yeah, so we loop over our nums array recursively calling uh, our DFS function with all four parameters. So in the, mm, and this line is basically a key to our solution. So we are recursively exploring all possible paths by uh, subtracting the current number from the target. So notice uh, how we use num slice uh, i and uh, triple dot path num uh, i. So to create a new array for each function call. So this ensure we don't alter our original 
uh, RI as well. So it's uh, really important. And lastly, inside our uh, combination uh, SAM function, we need to call the DFS function with appropriate parameter and return the results. So as a, a starting point. So, uh, and there we have it. So let's run it for unsynthesis cases as well to verify uh, if it's working because unsynthesis cases uh, are sometimes really tricky. But uh, yeah, our implementation works perfect and we beat 51% with respect to runtime. So it's uh, runtime efficient and 70% with respect to uh, memory. So yeah, all good. So perfect. Uh, it's working as expected. So let's wrap uh, our coding session for today. And if you like the video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding problem solution and tutorials uh, in JavaScript. And until next time, keep practicing. Happy coding.